Whether for exercise or as a way to explore new places, hiking is said to be the most popular outdoor activity in the United States and equally in so many other countries. Different routes provide various difficulties and while most of us look for something that will provide an energetic afternoon, there are some that are only suitable for the most experienced hikers in the world. So for today's video, I'm counting down 15 of the most challenging hiking trails on Earth. Starting with number 15, El Caminito del Rey in Spain. El Caminito del Rey, which translates from Spanish to mean the King's Little Pathway, is a narrow walkway set against the steep walls of a gorge in El Choro near Malaga in southern Spain. Now, originally it was constructed between 1901 and 1905. It was built for workers of the hydroelectric power plants at Choro Falls and Gaitanejo Falls to cross between them, as well as making it easier to transport materials and to inspect and maintain the canal beneath. But after the works were completed, it began being popular for hiking because of the challenge and the incredible views. The walkway, which is just over 1.8 miles long, hangs precariously 330 feet above the river below, but it offers breathtaking views of the surrounding natural beauty. It was named after King Alfonso XIII of Spain, who walked the pathway in 1921 for the inauguration of the dam, and many then wanted to follow in his footsteps. For a long time, though, El Caminito del Rey was allowed to fall into disrepair, becoming known as one of the world's most dangerous hikes. The dilapidated path, with a number of sections collapsed or missing, attracted adventurers from around the world, despite the risks involved. Today, El Caminito del Rey offers a safe and exciting experience for visitors. The restored pathway includes secure walkways, glass floor sections offering frightening views of the canyon below, and detailed information about panels that narrate the history and ecological significance of the area, making it an absolute must-visit hike for anyone with the means to do so. Number 14, the Kalalau Trail, Kauai. The Kalalau Trail, which is carved into the cliffs of the Napali Coast on the island of Kauai in Hawaii, is, without a doubt, one of the most stunning hikes you can take on anywhere in the world. Stretching for about 11 miles from the Ke'e Beach to the Kalalau Beach, the trail makes you go through some of the most dramatic and untouched landscapes in the Hawaiian Islands. Along the route, you can expect to see lush valleys, cascading waterfalls, and towering sea cliffs, and despite being well-traveled over the years, the path feels like you're one of the first to follow it, with narrow footpaths cutting through the dense tropical foliage, crossing streams, and winding around vertical cliff edges. The trail is renowned not just for the unrivaled scenery, but also for the challenging terrain you cover. It requires a good level of physical fitness, preparation, and understanding of the natural environment. To hike the beach, it can take experienced hikers a full day or more, with many choosing to camp along the way to break up the experience. The trail's full of obstacles, including steep grades, narrow paths, and occasional flash floods, meaning that to be safe, you really need to know what you're doing. But despite these challenges, it's a highly rewarding route that will ultimately take you to Kalalau Beach, which is only accessible by foot or by boat, and it's a pristine, remote paradise. Each journey along Kalalau Trail is unique, with it constantly changing conditions and unpredictable hazards, but to see Hawaii at its best, there is no better route. Number 13, The Devil's Path, United States. So, the Devil's Path, it's one of the most notorious hiking trails in the eastern United States. It's located in the heart of the Catskill Mountains in New York. Stretching for around 24.6 miles, it's known for its steep ascents, rugged terrain, and views, offering a challenge to even the most experienced hikers. The path crosses the peaks of some of the highest mountains in the Catskills, including the West Kill Mountain, Hunter Mountain, and Indian Head, presenting hikers with climbs and descents along the way. Named for the difficult terrain, the trail was conceived in the 1920s and has since become a rite of passage for serious hikers seeking to test themselves. The changes in elevation are constant and unforgiving, with the trail ascending and descending thousands of feet, challenging hikers with what some describe as the most grueling hike in the East. It's these challenges that make the payoff all the more worth it, though, as along the way you'll be treated to incredible views of Catskill Park, with panoramic vistas that stretch across the Hudson Valley to the Adirondacks in the north and the Taconic Ridge in the east. You'll feel isolated and surrounded by nature, with pristine streams, ancient forests, and abundance of wildlife in every direction you look. There's a reason why it's so well known in the hiking community, and if you're up to the challenge, you'll see the Catskills in a way that most people won't ever have the chance to. Number 12, the Chadar Trek, India. The Chadar Trek, which is sometimes called the Zanskar Gorge Trek, is a winter trail trek in the Zanskar region of Ladakh in the Indian state of Jammu in Kashmir. This trek is uniquely challenging and adventurous, as it's only possible during certain times of the year and involves walking over the frozen Zanskar River. The word Chadar means blanket in Hindi, which refers to the thick sheet of ice that covers the river during the winter months, offering a trekking experience unlike any other. 
The Chadar trek spans approximately 65 miles and is usually completed over a duration of 7 to 9 days depending on the specific route you take and the prevailing conditions. Trekkers typically start from chilling, moving towards Zenskar Valley, with the endpoint depending on the ice conditions and the trekker's ability. As well as needing to cover tricky terrain, this also means that you have to endure temperatures as low as negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit at night, so even attempting this trek requires the right gear, insulated boots, layer of thermal clothing, and sleeping bags rated for extreme cold. The preparation for this hike is as crucial as the journey itself, with the acclimatization to the high altitude and cold being a key factor in its successful completion. You will, though, never see anything else quite like it, with views of frozen waterfalls, the stark snow-covered landscape of the Zanskar Valley, and a unique perspective on the ancient culture of the region's inhabitants. Villages along this river rely on the frozen route as a lifeline for trade and transportation during the isolated winter, and you'll see how communities survive in such extreme conditions. Number 11. GR20, France the GR20, or Grande Randonnée 20, is one of the most popular long-distance trails in Europe, covering the rugged terrain of Corsica in France. Now, it stretches over approximately 112 miles. This trail is famed for its scenery, challenging passages, and unique experience. This GR20 is divided into two sections, the northern part, which is known for its higher difficulty level, and the southern part, which, while slightly easier, still presents a considerable challenge. Starting in the northern region of Corsica and ending in Conca, north of Puerto Vecchio in the south, the GR20 cuts through the mountain range that split Corsica. It usually takes competent hikers around 15 to 16 days to complete, although these times can vary, and conveniently the entire route is marked with red and white stripes. It's best attempted from late spring to early autumn to avoid the snow and any extreme weather conditions. The GR20 is varied and demanding, featuring rocky paths, steep inclines, and occasional technical sections that require hikers to use chains and ladders. This trail offers a range of natural wonders, including glacial lakes, towering granite peaks, dense forests, and cascading streams, all set against a backdrop of Corsica's landscapes. Along the route of the GR20 is a network of refuges, which allows trekkers to take on the trail without carrying heavy camping gear. These provide basic accommodations and are strategically placed along the route. They can, though, become crowded during the peak season, so without booking in advance, you could find yourself sleeping outside in the cold. Now, despite the obvious appeal, the GR20 isn't for everyone. It requires a high level of physical fitness, proper prep, and knowledge for the mountains. For those that do take it on, it is a true challenge that takes you through some of the most majestic mountain environments in the world. Number 10. The O Circuit, Chile The O Circuit is a world-renowned trek in the Torres del Paine National Park, which is located in Chile's stunning Patagonian region. This remote circuit, extending over a length of 68 miles, includes the more famous W Trek and offers an expanded exploration of the park's environment, taking you past mountains, turquoise, lakes, expansive glaciers, and forests. Now, normally it takes hikers about 7 to 10 days to complete. The O Circuit is designed for experienced trekkers who are prepared to face the challenges. The journey begins and ends in the same point, forming a loop that allows you to see the entire park. Now, unlike the W Trek, which covers the southern part of the park and can be quite crowded, the O Circuit offers a more secluded experience, venturing into the backcountry where you can enjoy the scenery and isolation of the Patagonian wilderness. The trek includes several highlights, such as the base of the iconic Payne Towers, the expansive Great Glacier, and the John Gardner Pass, from where you'll be treated to views of the southern Patagonian ice field. The pass is also the highest point of the circuit and can be particularly tricky because of strong winds and steep ascents. There are very few refuges along the more remote parts of the route, so hikers need to be self-sufficient, carrying all the necessary gear, food, and water purification tools, meaning that the preparation is crucial. For those that have completed it, though, this effort is well worth it, as the diversity of the landscapes from the starkness of the Andean deserts to the vibrant Patagonian forests and the vast glaciers provide a constantly changing backdrop that's amazing at every moment. Number 9. The Kokoda Trail, Papua New Guinea The Kokoda Trail, unlike others, combines historically important events, incredible scenery, and tricky terrain to create a truly one-of-a-kind hiking trail. This rugged and remote route stretches for around 60 miles through the dense tropical rainforests of Papua New Guinea, covering steep and often muddy ground. The trail runs from Orr's Corner in Central Province to the village of Kokoda in Oro Province, winding its way through the Owen Stanley Range, which is a region that's known for its history. 
During the Second World War, it was the site of a relentless campaign between Japanese and Allied forces, primarily Australian soldiers, who fought under extremely difficult conditions. Today, trekkers who embark on its path not only test their physical limits, but also pay their respects to the soldiers who fought there, making the trek a deeply emotional experience for many, especially those who have family links to what took place. Completing the entire trek will normally take you between 4 to 12 days, depending on your pace, with it taking you across mountainous terrain, rushing rivers, and into remote villages where you'll experience the warmth and hospitality of the local communities. The trail's challenge is enhanced by the tropical climate, with high humidity and frequent rain making it even more demanding. These difficulties make it all the more rewarding, though, and will reveal dense rainforests that are teeming with unique plants and animals, as well as an endless, unspoiled landscape, with panoramic views that stretch over miles of untamed wilderness. Number 8. The Lycian Way, Turkey the Lycian Way, which is located in southwestern Turkey, is a long-distance footpath that offers hikers a more memorable blend of natural beauty, ancient ruins, and culture. Stretching over 335 miles, the trail winds through the ancient regions of Lycia, taking you along stunning coastlines, rugged mountains, and through forests, while providing breathtaking views of the Med. Officially designated in 1999, the Lycian Way is made up of a combination of historical paths, mule trails, and shepherd routes, weaving through a landscape dotted with ruins that date back to the Lycian civilization. Helpfully, you don't have to take the whole of this trail in one go. You can instead break it up into sections, with each offering a different experience and level of difficulty. Along the way, you'll pass through villages where the traditional way of life is still preserved, offering you warm hospitality and the taste of a local cuisine. By far, the best time to walk is either in the spring or the path is covered with wildflowers in the fall, when the weather is cooler and the landscape is lush. But at any time of the year, you're sure to have a fantastic time. One of the cool highlights of this trail is the opportunity to witness some of Turkey's most pristine and untouched beaches, accessible only by these footpaths. The path takes you over the mountain passes, offering views of the coastline and the turquoise waters of the Med, and along the way there are a number of small guest houses and campsites, but the distance between villages can be pretty vast at times, so you'll need to carry all your supplies with you. It can be physically demanding, but the main challenge with this trail is its length, which can easily take a few weeks to complete in its entirety. Moving on to number 7, the Dolagiri Circuit Trek in Nepal. Nepal is one of the most mountainous countries in the world, and while it probably is best known as the place to go if you want to attempt to climb Mount Everest, there are plenty of treks that you can take that in many ways are even more challenging. The most notorious of all is the Dalagiri Circuit Trek, which will take you into the heart of the Himalayan mountain range and offer an up-close view of the world's seventh highest peak, Dalagiri 1, which stands at almost 26,800 feet or over 8,100 meters tall. This trek is known for its terrain, stunning natural beauty, and the opportunity to experience the remote and untouched wilderness of Nepal. And usually taking 14 to 21 days to complete, it is one of the more strenuous and less commonly attempted treks in the country, making it a perfect choice for those looking to do something a little bit different. The route begins in a small village and begins to gradually ascend through the traditional Magar villages, dense forests of rhododendron and oak and alpine pastures. The train navigates up through the high-altitude terrain, including the Italian base camp, the Dalagiri base camp, and offers a glimpse into the world of high-altitude mountaineering. One of the standout features of this circuit is the crossing of the French Pass, which at almost 17,600 feet above sea level is the highest point of the trek. This pass gives views of Dalagiri 1 and the surrounding peaks, as well as entry into the Hidden Valley, a high-altitude desert that feels like you've stepped into another world. Reaching these heights and encountering bitterly cold temperatures, this circuit trek is tricky even for experienced hikers. It requires excellent physical condition, acclimatization to higher altitudes, and proper prep. The remote nature of the trek also means that trekkers need to be self-sufficient, carrying all your necessary supplies and equipment. Number 6. The Jordan Trail, Petra So when you think of tricky hikes, you normally imagine venturing into mountainous regions, but for something completely different, there's the Jordan Trail. It's a long-distance hiking path across the country, taking you on a journey through the heart of the Middle East. One of the trail's most iconic sections leads through the city of ancient Petra, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the Seven New Wonders of the World. Spanning over 400 miles in length, the Jordan Trail weaves through various terrains, from the forested hills to the majestic canyons and deserts of the south. The section that passes through Petra allows you to approach the ancient Nabataean city in the same way as the caravans of ancient times, emerging from the natural gorge known as the Sikh to be greeted by the breathtaking sights of Al-Khazna or the Treasury. 
Exploring Petra via the Jordan Trail offers a unique perspective on this gem. Beyond the treasury, the trail leads you deeper into the city, past towering tombs carved into the pink sandstone cliffs, Roman ruins, and the ancient monastery, revealing the depth of history here. The experience of walking through Petra is akin to stepping back in time, surrounded by the echoes of ancient civilizations. As with all long-distance treks, you need to be prepared for these conditions. Even during the spring or autumn, you'll be extremely hot, meaning the sun protection and plenty of water is vital. As far as treks go, though, this is truly one of a kind, and a very different experience to what you're used to. Number 5. The Cascade Saddle, New Zealand Cascade Saddle, which is in the heart of New Zealand's Mount Aspiring National Park, offers one of the most spectacular hiking experiences, presenting hikers with views of rugged mountains, pristine valleys, and the shimmering waters of the Dark Glacier. The journey to the peak normally begins from either the Matukituki Valley, or near Wanaka, or the Rees Valley near Glenorchy, culminating in a challenging yet rewarding ascent to the saddle. The trek can vary in duration, usually taking between two to four days to complete, depending on the particular route you take, with several options available. Whichever path you choose, though, we'll see you encounter steep climbs, rocky terrains, and alpine meadows, granting a true backcountry experience. The vistas from the saddle itself include the vast, dark glacier, with Mount Aspiring towering in the distance, providing a dramatic backdrop that sums up what you'd expect from the landscape of the country's South Island. To add extra complexity to the trail, the Cascade Saddle Route is also known for its variable weather, which can change rapidly. Trekkers have got to be prepared from everything from bright sunshine to rain and snow, even in the summer months. And with the terrain including exposed ridges and steep sections, things can get pretty dangerous fast. It remains, though, one of the most exciting, challenging, and rewarding ways to take in the Southern Alps. And while you'll need to be a confident and capable hiker to attempt it, you'll undoubtedly find it to be well worth the time and effort. Number 4. The West Coast Trail, Canada The West Coast Trail, which can be found on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada, is a world-famous hiking trail that offers a wilderness adventure through the Pacific Rim National Park Reserve. It covers approximately 47 miles along the island's southwestern coastline. This trail is part of the ancient paths and paddling routes that were used for trade and travel by the First Nations peoples, offering modern-day hikers an immersive journey. Originally established in 1907 as a life-saving trail for shipwreck survivors along the treacherous graveyard of the Pacific, the West Coast Trail is now a challenging and rewarding trek. The trail normally takes about five to seven days to complete, demanding a good level of fitness and preparation from hikers, too. It's got muddy paths, steep climbs, and more than 70 ladder systems. And along with these physical obstacles, you'll also have to navigate tidal zones, cross rivers on cable cars, and carefully pass over slippery log bridges. The route along the West Coast Trail passes landscapes ranging from dense old-growth rainforests teeming with life to expansive sandy beaches and rocky headlands that offer incredible views of the Pacific. The trail's remoteness, too, gives a sense of isolation among the local wildlife, including the black bears, wolves, sea otters, and, if you're lucky, migrating whales just offshore. It also passes through the traditional territories of the First Nations peoples, with several sites along the way where you can learn about the rich history and ongoing traditions of these communities. Indigenous-operated ferries and cultural interpretation sites add an extra element you won't find anywhere else, and will really make you appreciate the importance of living in harmony with your surroundings. Number 3. The Death Trail, Mount Huashan, China Now, I love talking about this one, the Death Trail on Mount Huashan. It's located in the Shanxi province in China. It's one of the most exhilarating and dangerous hiking trails in the world and is sure to have your heart pounding at every step. Mount Huashan itself is one of China's five great mountains, having long been a religiously significant site and known for its stunning beauty. There are several routes to the top, with the Death Trail being by far the most challenging. It's part of the South Peak, the highest among Mount Huashan's five peaks, reaching an elevation of about 7,000 feet. The trail is made up of a series of narrow wooden planks that have been bolted onto the side of a sheer vertical cliff, and where hikers have to step from plank to plank along this precarious path with nothing but a harness clipped to a thin steel cable. So, yeah, it's definitely not for everyone. The appeal, though, of the Death Trail isn't just the exhilaration of taking it on, but also for the breathtaking views along the way. Those brave enough to attempt the trail will see Mount Huashan up close, as well as the surrounding valleys and those peaks. The mountain is also steeped in Taoist history, with it having been a place of religious pilgrimage for centuries, and you'll see this along the route with the ancient temples and shrines dotting its landscape. While the plank walk, which is the focal point of this trail, is equipped with safety measures, the inherent risks of such a high-altitude trek on narrow planks are ever-present. 
To combat this, in recent years, the local authorities have taken steps to improve the safety standards on the trail, making it even more accessible to a broader range of people. But even with these adaptations, though, it remains one of the most challenging hikes, both physically and mentally, that you could ever attempt. Number 2. The Drakensberg Grand Traverse, South Africa, Lesotho The Drakensberg Grand Traverse is an epic journey across one of the most stunning mountain ranges in southern Africa, the Drakensberg, or Dragon Mountains. This route crosses the border between South Africa and the mountain kingdom of Lesotho, and is the ideal way to explore the beauty of this UNESCO World Heritage Site. The trail covers a distance of around 137 miles, but the exact distance is ever-changing as there's no set path, meaning that as well as putting you through paces physically, it's also a navigational challenge too. Hikers usually begin at the Sentinel Car Park along the northern Drakensberg and finish at the Bushman's Neck in the southern Drakensberg. Along the way, you'll see dramatic views of jagged peaks, rolling highlands, and cliffs, with a particular highlight being the amphitheater, a massive rock wall that stands as one of the most impressive features in the range. To preserve the natural surroundings, this traverse isn't marked at all, so anyone attempting it will need to rely on maps, GPS, and their own orienteering skills. This is something that adds an element of adventure and unpredictability, and in many ways, it's what differentiates it compared to other trails and adds to that allure. Hikers, therefore, must be fully self-sufficient, carrying all necessary supplies for the duration of the trek, which can take anywhere from 10 to 14 days depending on how quick you are and whether or not you take the most direct route. Along the way, you'll pass over some of the highest peaks in southern Africa, including Tabana Niklenyana, the highest point in Lesotho, and the whole of southern Africa at 11,423 feet. You'll also need to contend with a series of dramatic escarpments and passes offering challenging climbs and rewarding views. As well as the natural beauty of the Drakensberg, the other reason it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site are the historical places of importance that you'll also get the chance to see, with thousands of rock art sites including ancient paintings that offer a glimpse into the lives of the indigenous people who once roamed these highlands. Number 1. The Snowman Trek, Bhutan Every trek you go on will challenge you in one way or another, but the one that's most commonly said to be the trickiest of all combines a number of elements that will truly test your skill and determination. It's known as the Snowman Trek, it's in Bhutan, and will take you a distance of around 221 miles through the Himalayas, across some of the most pristine and untouched wilderness on the planet. Normally taking between 25 to 30 days to complete, it crosses 11 high mountain passes, with altitudes exceeding over 14,000 feet, and the highest point being Rinchenzola, which sits at over 17,000 feet above sea level. It begins in Paro, home to the famous Tiger's Nest Monastery, and ends in Lunana, which is one of the most remote regions in the country. Along the way, you'll see some of the highest unclimbed mountains in the world, including Gangkar Puensum, which is considered the tallest mountain on which climbing is banned in respect of local spiritual beliefs. This path winds through valleys, dense forests, and high-altitude pastures that are home to rare plants and animals, and you may even spot the elusive snow leopard here. The route offers a glimpse into the traditional Bhutanese way of life, and it passes through isolated villages and ancient monasteries, where traditional ways are life-maintained. The biggest draw for this trek, however, is the sheer challenge of completing it, with the high altitudes, unpredictable weather, and the overall duration of the route demanding excellent physical fitness, acclimatization to high altitudes, and mental resilience. Trekkers have to carry all necessary supplies or rely on yaks and porters for support, and even if you have this covered, further planning is required to secure the permits you need, and also hiring a registered guide because for safety and to ensure respect for the environment, independent trekking is not allowed in Bhutan. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.